politics. Everybody's talking about oh, politics yeah. nowadays. Well, have time. you been watching the debates? Any I, thoughts? I have been, and uh, you know, I'm all about competition. I love sports. Grew up as an athlete. Started my career in sports as a broadcaster, and. Uh, when it comes to competition, I'm so thankful that, at least on the Republican side of the aisle, we have a very, very competitive primary. And that makes everybody work a lot harder and produce a better product for the people as they're competing in the arena of ideas. So I'm thankful that we got some really good guys and gals out there willing to serve. Donald that's Trump cool. leading the polls. Oh, and that's... And some people think it's inexplicable that he is. It's like, no, of course he is. He's not a politician. And that's what we love. That's what normal Americans appreciate. We're really tired of the status quo, you know, and people who have been kind of part of the problem. And yet they are now campaigning, promising to do something about the problems. Well, Donald Trump, Dr. Carson, uh, Carly, others who haven't been in politics all of their lives, they are refreshing as they are able to explain what some solutions are because, uh, you know, it's fresh, it's new. Would you ever jump back in the race if called upon? My interest has always been in public service and getting out there doing all that I can to, you know, to try to help make the world a better place. And if that is a, a position in politics, I would be willing to bust through that door. Is there any ticket in particular you like better? Would you maybe a, a Trump Palin or Carson Palin? <laughs> There's millions of Americans out there qualified, ready, willing, and able to, uh, you know, if as we're suggesting a, a VP slot, who would fit that bill? So I really don't think it's going to be me being asked, but uh, as I say, you know, if I were asked, I'd do it. you got a great new book. Let's talk about Sweet Freedom. Thank you. What, what made you want to write a devotional? I have been journaling all my life um, and wanted to put something together that can help inspire people to get out there and live life vibrantly. And every one of us faces challenges. Every one of us has some kind of struggle in our lives. And we certainly do as a nation, too. Lots of challenges. So just putting together uh, verses that come from the Bible that give us solutions, answers to every one of our problems. So I point people to uh, where those answers can be found in the Word.